Well, when the dribble starts to come back, you turn slightly this way so people still can't see your big old Johnson, and you start peeing, and it starts going past you. The Cowboys will learn from this game. Basically, what I'm saying in a roundabout way is, is the Cowboys will learn from this game. The Cowboys got exposed. They literally got their dick stomped in the dirt over and over and over and over again. What did they do? They ran the ball away from Micah Parsons. That's how you beat the Dallas Cow 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 Cowboys. Carson says Dog Diggs got another thousand yard receiving with a beautiful one handed catch. Hoffy, did you see that catch? I did. Yep. It was. Uh, it was a pretty good catch, especially like in the rain, right? So, like, I'm not sure how hard it was raining because sometimes it is hard to judge from like the cameras, like you're seeing. But it was raining, one handed with wet gloves. So, I, 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 I give Diggs credit in that catch. Hoffy Imagine is how good. How nice it would have been to see uh, the Diggs brothers go at it yesterday. As a Cowboys passive fan, Cowboys are my number two team. I did not want to see that because Stefan always gets the better of Trayvon. And I would have not want to seen that at all. I would have rather seen Stefan Gilmore and Diggs head to head every play. It's all about the brotherly love, right? And you don't want your younger brother to beat you. <laughs> John says, what's up, John? Good morning. He's like, he's, he, he says, not a fluke. Warm weather team going into the cold. First of all, it was not cold in Buffalo. It was like 50 degrees. It was just raining. And the Buffalo Bills are legitimately playing for their lives right now. If the Buffalo Bills lose one game, their playoff chances go down like 10%. It's something ridiculous, right? The Buffalo Bills are le legitimately... A wounded dog backed into a corner, and they are fighting for their lives right now. If the playoffs were to start right now, and the Buffalo Bills were in the playoffs, I don't care if I'm the Ravens. I don't care if I'm the Chiefs. I don't care if I'm the 49ers. I do not want to play the Buffalo Bills right now. Not at all. Not at all. Wayne G says the Cowboys are Super Bowl contenders until they travel to San Francisco. Spoiler alert, the Cowboys do not have to travel to San Francisco because San Francisco 49ers are our second round lost team. Oh, buzz off. Buzz off. Hmm. 49ers are going to the Super Bowl. 49ers get beat by the Rams in the second round after the Rams beat, slide into a seven seed, beat the Philadelphia Eagles, sitting at number two, going to San Francisco, whoop that ass again. And we're looking at a Cowboys Rams NFC Championship game. What are you Googling? We're going to have a rematch of 2013 Ravens versus Seahawks or uh, 49ers. Yep. Uh, so I, I saw a TikTok coffee where, um, you know, you know that the NFL is rigged, right? Like everything's rigged and based Absolutely. off Vegas, right? Uh, so. So so basically when the Super Bowl logo gets released, right? You can tell what teams are going to make it to the Super Bowl by what colors the logo is, right? So last year it was red and green, obviously Philadelphia Eagles versus Chiefs, right? The previous year it was like some burgundy and some other color so the Cincinnati Bengals won it, right? So 2013, the Super Bowl logo was a uh, purple and um, it was like purple and like gold, right? That was the year that the 49ers and Ravens went to the Super Bowl, and this year is purple and gold again. So if you are a conspiracy theories rigged NFL, whatever, there you go. Your boys are going. But Wayne G thinks the Cowboys are Super Bowl contenders until they travel to San Francisco. Second round exit, he says. Ant says, you really had them at number one, Buck? You should have known better. They are an accident waiting to happen. Cooks better buy some old cooks better buy his old line something real nice for Christmas. Listen, the Cowboys were the best team in the NFL last week. 
The Cowboys were a team that was clicking on all cylinders. The Dallas Cowboys were a team that was better than the San Francisco 49ers, better than no. the Eagles, better than the Ravens. You could put all those team, teams together, make an all-star roster, and nobody was beating the Dallas Cowboys last week. Hoffie, your 49ers were trash. 49ers had just beat the Cardinals who had beaten the Cowboys. The 49ers beat down the Cowboys. The 49ers beat down the Eagles mm. in Philadelphia. Dallas did not beat Philly in Philly. They had to take them on at home. Aww. Aww. Don't tell me, tell me Dallas is better than 49ers. They Get are. the fuck out of here. Jim says, run the ball ever. Best run the Bills ever had. OJ and the Bronco on the LA freeway. Your new name is Skip Buckheister. <laughs> Carson says the Bills have a shot to be the ASC champions. Yes, they do. When the Dallas Cowboys go and then beat the Miami Dolphins next week, it will come down to week 18 matchup. Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. I believe it's at Miami, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because they is. play. Yeah, so it, weather shouldn't be, be a factor. The Buffalo Bills are legitimately playing for their lives. Actually, it probably at this point, if this does come down to a Week 18 matchup, both teams will be playing for their lives. This game will be flexed to a Sunday night game, just like the Packers-Lions game was last season.